and another day at the van build and we found another amazing little shuttle bus that I want to show you. And we're here with Doug. Hi, Doug. Hey, I'm Doug. Nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. So uh, you you just gave me like a mini tour of your shuttle bus, and it looks amazing inside. And I didn't expect this because, you know, from the outside it looks um, still very much like a shuttle bus. So you're very stealthy that way. Thank you. Yes, it's a uh, 2001 <laughs> Ford Econo line. It was right. used at a uh, senior care center in Tennessee. You have? And I uh, had 36,000 miles on it when I got it. They didn't use it much. And uh, now it's my house. Cool, let's take a look inside because that was quite a revelation. <laughs> it was quite a project. Um, this is my one of my favorite parts. Oh, you got like... what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I really, I got to learn things about wiring and a little bit of computer science even and wiring this up. Um, and so yeah, I just had a really fun time just converting the driving area to update it a little bit um, with like a backup camera and a little DVD player here. I'm a little out of touch at the times. So I guess Blu-ray is what you're supposed to have now. Maybe. But a DVD player will do for me. Yeah. Um, originally, there was a big control panel here that was working the lights in the rear AC unit and the wheelchair lift and the doors. And I realized that I could just hook a door switch up to here, run the AC switch right here. And this they call the dog house. And this is the bottom of a dog crate that I found nice. and uh, cut up and uh, put a little set of cup holders for me. I do work nights, so I did sew up some magnetic curtains to block out the light. And so it is a little dark in here. Well, the first thing that strikes me is when you walk in, there's actually a shower here. Not many van dwellers have that. I do work as an RN, and so I do want to have a spot that I can take a shower yeah. so that I can show up and be clean for my patients. So what's, uh, what's an RN for our viewers? It is a registered nurse. Awesome. And so uh, nursing in this country is about 90% women mm -hmm. who tend to have families. And so there is a demand for travel nurses. A lot of nurses uh, work for unions. And so those unions can go on strike and those patients still need someone to take care of them. And so for whatever reason, different hospitals need nurses who are willing to travel. But unfortunately, uh, most of the women who nurse have families and mm -hmm. obligations. And so someone who's young and single like me can travel nurse. That's amazing. And uh, that works in every state or d different states, different rules? We're in uh, a transition period with licensing. Right now, a little over half of the states share a nursing license. But still, like California, Hawaii, states on the West Coast, you have to apply individually to each state to get a license but over the coming years that should change where one nursing license works for every state kind of like your driver's license mm -hmm. all right well another thing that struck me was how nice the floors are so that's why we took the shoes off not to carry that much dust in but it looks really like a home in here it feels very open and and uh, inviting um, you know, I try to do that. I'm not exactly the best when it comes to like picking matching colors and all of that. I'm sure somebody with an eye for interior design can make this much better. Um, there's a local store run by Habitat for Humanity called Restore. And so I got each cabinet from there, which is why nothing quite matches. Uh, I think it looks really nice, though. I mean, I've, I've been you. in quite a few converted buses and vans and this definitely looks very nice and it feels it feels like a home so i wanted it cool. to feel like a home yeah um and i you know i wanted others who also travel yeah to be able to come in here and feel like like it's a home for yeah. for others to gather in and you made a lot of good use of the space i mean it, it doesn't feel crowded at all thank you 
You got an AC unit. So yes, this is an AC unit. So you um, can't run that off solar yet, but unfortunately, uh, yeah. the technology is not quite there. A but, swamp cooler I could run off of yeah. solar. But you have a generator on board. We'll look at that later. Yeah. Sure do. Okay, yes, I, and then let's take a look at the kitchen. Sure, this is my kitchen area. It's pretty simple. Uh, I didn't think that I needed a microwave oven. It would come in handy, but it is nice uh, just with the two burner stove here. That's a nice stove. I can do a lot of food prep with that. And you got a lot of storage. Yes, tons of storage here. I try to keep everything organized. Um, this is where all my food is and uh, RV essentials here and then my tools for all the inevitable builds and repairs. Yeah, and, and you got the Berkey water filter. Yep, I, uh, I have a 60 gallon water tank that's stored under here. And I did install a little tank monitor that allows me to monitor my water levels yeah. in the tanks. So since you have a shower, you also have a gray water tank, I assume? Yes, I do. I have two gray water tanks. One is a 30 gallon that's underneath my sink. Oh, that's nice. It works well. <laughs> Here's the bed area. Is that like, can you extend it or is it um, you just use it as a, as a single? I do extend it out. It's not the prettiest process, but I tried to do my best with a set of drawer slides where this all slides out. Oh, nice. Yeah. And allows me to have that full bed. And that, that also is very allows nice. Me... Got more storage there. Yep. And this is my snowboard. I have a set of skis. I have some parachute rigging equipment. I have a wetsuit. I have a slack line. So hopefully if it's an outdoor activity that I come across I can come equipped to do it yeah very nice system this bed I have to say very I've seen better I've seen worse it it suits me I think um, I did get the mattress at Ikea I am six feet four inches and so yeah. I was able to find something yeah that I could actually rely on yeah no you're very humble this looks actually amazing I think thank you very cool. And then you got a fridge over there. That's the big one with the fridge and freezer compartment. Yep, this is the fridge freezer. I have this uh, sheet here for whenever my friend brings her dog. This is actually constructed to be the dog bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is where the dog sleeps because the bed isn't quite big enough for two people and a yeah. fully grown dog. Yeah. Yep, I have a fridge area here. It's nice, even with the light. Yep, it runs off of the uh, solar. Mm -hmm. And then I just have a quick little thing here for turning on my water pump. Yeah. Turning from inverter to shore power. And then I have a means of turning on and off my inverter. Yeah. And checking my battery. Right. And then I did it a little radiator fan. Oh, nice. Off of a car. In, instead of like a fantastic fan, it's it's. This custom. is a little more homemade. Um, I noticed that the 12 volt fans could be a little pricey. But then I was thinking, how can I get a cheap 12 volt fan? I thought yeah. radiators, they all use fans. Yeah, all so you volts. bought a used one and, or is it a new one? I got a new one because they can be picked up rather cheaply. Yeah, new. yeah. Oh, nice. And uh, that's this, a good idea. Yep. And then it's actually getting a little warm in here now. So I can just open that up this is a hatch from a sailboat that's uh, awesome and you can actually climb out there from the bed right it is an escape hatch uh mm -hmm. yeah um and then i i do think for safety just in case the front entrance were yeah. to be blocked off in the event of a fire or god forbid a rollover incident where the bus is on its side yeah i could escape through this hatch and then I do love the magnets and the blackout curtains and luckily a friend lent me a sewing mm -hmm. machine. And there's another window there. Yep, this is a window and then as you can see... That opens up too. That's an emergency exit as well or just a way to let yeah. in more light, and more breeze. Up there, that's an AC unit from the uh, bus? This is the bus AC unit. So Does it work? Yes, it does. That's so perfect. Whenever I'm driving down the road... I can just turn this on mm -hmm. and it'll keep the back area cold. Um, if I'm just driving down the road, the front AC unit is plenty to yeah. keep me cold. But if I know it's a hot day and I'm gonna be parked, mm -hmm. then yeah, for about a half hour, I'll let the AC unit run. Well, that's perfect. And it will cool the bus down. 
Um, and I do like knowing the temperature. I did install a little. So it's 81 mm -hmm. degrees outside. It's 76 degrees inside. That yeah. was 10 bucks at Walmart. It's nothing nice. fancy. So it's also insulation? Yes, it's fully insulated. Actually, I'm six feet, four inches. And say when I'm cooking, I do assume a little bit of a yoga position yeah, to cook. Yeah. Um, because I did trade off more insulation mm -hmm. in exchange for headroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're about, we're about the same height, so but it's still comfortable in here. It is, and I've noticed that um, if I do want to stand up, that's why my house is on wheels. I can go outside yeah. and get all the uh, full standing height that I need. And Very so good. that kind of keeps me from being inclined to just stay in here right. all day. You know, that it's not quite mm -hmm. comfortable for me. Yeah. It makes me more inclined to go out and meet people. Do you have like a work desk uh, option? Do you not have anything? Much. Like I do, uh, I do TV just tray or something. tray oh, here yeah. that's... Uh, can be set up. that yeah. when I'm sitting here I can pull that tray here and just mm -hmm. have a quick meal nice all right and then you have a garage outside I uh, want to show that too absolutely it's my favorite cool. part so this used to be a this wheelchair lift wheelchair lift was located and these are my gray water tanks here mm -hmm. I have them welded to brackets nice This is the vent for my hot water heater. Unbelievable, look at that. There's a water heater in there, there's storage. Yep, this is propane my water tank. heater, a generator. This is my water pump. This is the propane that powers my stove and the water heater. This is my solar charge controller. A little light for when I'm in here at night. Yeah. A battery charger, an inverter, and then my battery bank. It's right is there in the back. back. Yeah. That is actually very nice and organized. I this pegboard comes in handy. I'm impressed. And that skateboard over there is that it's not an is this an electric one? It is not. Okay. But it is very but it convenient. Fits there well. Park somewhere and yeah. pull this out and take yeah. one ride. Yeah. But see if 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 the bus is closed, you wouldn't know that it looks just like a shuttle bus. There are little hints. Little hints. Yeah. Ventilation for my batteries as well as the water mm. here. Oh, that's nice. I do have a little backup camera as well that helps for maneuvering. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the water fill. And a hose. And uh, run my sink and my shower off of the hose. And yeah. Like... Um, that's part of the AC unit there? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Solar panels on the top. But overall, it still looks quite stealthy, I have to say. Yes, the solar panels, I think, are the biggest giveaway. Yeah. Um, I and do have people stop me and ask for a bus schedule sometimes. <laughs> That's amazing. But I do like the people who know what to look for. Yeah. Know that this is somebody who's living here yeah. as well. Well, thank you so much, Doug. That was quite uh, eye-opening. Wow. Thank you so much for taking the tour. Thanks.